This is one Minecraft Iron Golem. You know, the guy that you typically just see as free iron, but sometimes you slip up. And even in full netherite, these guys are insane. But what about 100 Iron Golems? Now that is a lot of damage. But this is only the beginning, because today, I created an army of 1,000 Iron Golems to end this one Minecraft player. But why? Well, a few weeks ago, I made an army of 1,000 and bees to kill this player called Clutch, and it was a success. <laughs> but Clutch wanted revenge, so while I was at my bee farm living out my peaceful life, he attacked. What the? Hey, whoa, 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 what was that, bro? Okay, you're down here. Bro, I see footsteps, bro. Okay, so who is this, bro? Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, okay, oh my god. <laughs> now, I didn't lose any of my items, but I did lose one thing, my heart. Because in the Lifesteal SMP, you can steal people's hearts by killing them. It became my mission to get my heart back. So that's why I'm creating 1,000 Iron Golems to kill this one Minecraft player. But how am I going to do this? Because if we want to create an Iron Golem, you need 36 iron and a pumpkin. But to create 1,000 Iron Golems, you need 36,000 iron and a thousand pumpkins that is insane and i'm not about to mine for that much iron even with a haste 2 beacon so that's why i'm going to build the greatest iron farm in minecraft this is prototype one which produces 270 iron ingots per hour basically how this works is the villagers get scared by the zombie in the middle so they spawn an iron golem in the water which pushes it into the lava. But that would take a full five days of AFKing to get that much iron. I don't have that much time. So let me introduce Prototype 2, which produces 1.2 thousand iron ingots per hour. Instead of three villagers, this requires 12, which means a lot more iron golems. But we can do better. Finally, we have Prototype 3. This beast can produce up to 9,000 iron ingots per hour. With this farm, we can easily create a thousand iron golems to kill clutch and look at it it doesn't look that hard to build so let's get straight to building i began by grinding up some sand smelting into glass and beginning the frame but while i was grinding resources i found clutch's secret base i looked through his chest and items but i had an idea to lure clutch into my trap now I can't fake it as a peace treaty anymore because the last two times I did, it ended in death. Oh my what? god! Losing his sanity. Oh! Oh my oh. god! So I had to make a new strategy. Basically, the lifesteal prom is in five days, and some of the players are looking for dates. I know, it's kinda cringe, but here's the plan. I'm going to act like Clutch's secret admirer and invite him to a secret place for a date on Friday, which is in three days at the time I'm recording this. All I have to do now is wait for Clutch to come back to his base to see his response. And Clutch said yes. Now we are in business. But I only have three days to create my army. So we have to go fast. And if anybody figures out my plan, it's over. So it's time for a time lapse. I continue to work on the glass frame. And after an hour and some more smelting, I finished it. So it was time to add the slabs and fences on top of the frame. After I completed all five platforms, I needed to create the villager chambers. Where the villagers will be trapped for the rest of their lives but i ran out of wool so i did a trade with my good friend parrot all right so yeah. he, what's up bees oh my gosh i need to keep some iron because of rails oh nice all right you're doing nice. business with you sir you too now we can finish the villager chambers once it was completed it was time for the hardest part of this entire build getting the villagers in the chambers now this took me about three hours to finish but luckily you're watching a youtube video so here's a quick montage
and we finally captured all of the villagers. Now, I somehow lost my iron for the rails, so I had to go mining for some more. And because this is a spoke video, I ran into a secret base. I have no idea whose it is, and it basically had nothing in the chest. But hey, it's kind of cool. But when I began to beg and chat, Clutch actually came and dropped me a bunch of rails. I wonder what he's working on that requires that much rails. But of course, we needed a mob to scare the villagers. And while constructing the rail system, I was considering capturing a zombie to scare the villagers. But I had a different idea. This is Cole Edwards, who is Terrain's friend. But as you can see, this is no ordinary pillager. This one has no crossbow. This means it doesn't attack any villagers. But now, we have to secretly kidnap Terrain's friend. While a ton of people are online, if I get caught, I'm actually dead. But luckily, we managed to do it, and Cole Edwards was now part of my iron farm. And it was actually now complete. But what do I name this beautiful farm? Let me know in the comments down below. But after an hour of AFKing, I had a realization. If this farm generates 9,000 iron per hour, that also means it has to kill a bunch of iron golems. But why kill them when you can just capture them? So, that is exactly what I did. I made a big room under the farm and I made big pipes to lead the iron golems down. We were now one step closer to creating my army of a thousand iron golems. But I ran into a major issue. For some odd reason, all of my iron golems were going to one corner. And they actually began dying because of entity collision. Typically, this wouldn't happen with any other mob. But iron golems have huge hitboxes, so I had to try to spread them out. But how? Well, iron golems have a tendency to run after zombies, so I went to capture a zombie to leave in the middle for all of the iron golems to get out of the corner. But I failed, so I tried again, and this time my plan worked. Well, sort of. I needed to do a bit of pushing, but after utilizing my water bucket, my plan actually began to work. And after an hour of AFKing, my army was ready. But what issue? It was already Friday, and Clutch knew where to meet up, but I had no actual building or plan ready. And I knew if he showed up just to an iron farm and a staircase down to my iron golem pit, it wouldn't work. So I began construction on a house, where the date will be held, and we're done. But my plan is to have him sit in the minecart so that while I'm invisible, I can break the block below him and he could fall into the pit. The plan is very flawed, but it is my only chance of getting my heart back, so I have to put my all into it. Except one thing. You may have already asked this. How are the iron golems going to aggro and clutch? Well, that's a very good question. I trapped a villager in a boat to hope that clutch hits it for the funnies, and the iron golems attack him. But if that doesn't work, hopefully he just freaks out when he falls down, and he just starts frantically hitting all of them. Like I said before, this is a very flawed plan. But straight after I trapped the villager, he joined the game. I had to hide inside the house to see when he comes because I have to make sure I'm invisible when he goes inside. And he finally arrived. Hey, Clutch. Huh? Yo, what's up, man? How are you doing? Good. I'm. Um, what are you up what to? What is this? Is this is this you, dude? There's like a. Some what? some some person went to my base and put a freaking sign. What? Is this a chair? <laughs> what kind of a chair? <laughs> what? What, is what are you up to right now, bro? This what are you up to? I'm like in this base with a bunch of like redstone torches and like there's like, someone in, in my base was like, yo, you should pull up here and they're like, kind of, there's like a secret admirer crap. There's a freaking what? villager here. Oh yeah, the prom's like coming up and stuff. Why there a, it's, it's right next to your iron farm. What the heck? What? That is so weird, bro. <laughs> bro. You want to know what I'm up to, bro? Wait, there's... Huh? You want you want to know what I'm up to? What? Killing you. What? <laughs> dude! Dude, 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 dude! Why, dude. bro? Bro! Let's go! Let's go! Dude, dude I'm, I'm getting cramped! Bro. I'm getting cramped! Bro! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! And their L's, oh baby, be spawn! Oh my god, bro! Let's actually go! Oh my god, wait, where's your stuff? Where's your stuff? Guys! <laughs> I made you lose a heart as well! 
Oh, oh my god, bro. Hard... But Clutch swore revenge. And I should have taken that more seriously because when he asked me to test out his roller coaster, I decided to give him the benefit of the doubt. But this was a terrible mistake. Oh my god, it was like an upward thing, bro. Okay, wait, this is kind of sick. I didn't. Bro, what? Oh my god, bro. This is so fast. This is so fast, bro. It's so fast. Yo. Oh my geez. god, it's going all the way down to bedrock, bro. Oh, wait, what is this, bro? Wait, what the? What the? F <laughs> they just failed, bro. What was that? Oh, my God. It just, what was that? Wait, is that T? Wait, what the frick was that, bro? No, oh, my minecart's back. Oh, I'm pushing back down. How did it oh, fail? Ah! What the heck? What just happened? If you want to find out what happens next, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications for the next video. But in the meantime, you can watch 1000 Days of Minecraft Civilization, where I forced 100 players to create civilization for 1000 days. But anyways, goodbye!